Hello and welcome to New Mexico History. My name is Brandon Morgan and this is the getting started video for both sections of my New Mexico History classes this summer. Um, as you know, we have an eight-week class ahead of us this summer, so it'll be a little intensive, but not too intensive. Um, at least I hope not. Um, this video is for both sections of my class, as I mentioned, so if you're in section 52, everything is the same except the background color. So the background color is green in that section. Uh, but the tour of the class that I'm going to give you real quickly is uh, all the same. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out here as we get started is that you should feel free to contact me with questions or concerns whenever you have them. I'm always happy to help out and I try to be very accessible. I get back to email as quickly as I can. I'm a little longer on the weekends, of course, uh, but I'm also available via text message and Twitter. So please take advantage of all of those ways of getting a hold of me. Um, also, I do have office hours on Monday mornings uh, from 9 to 11. So uh, please, again, take advantage of all of those ways of getting in touch. Also, if you have any questions about any of the digital platforms that we'll be using, we're going to be using Twitter, TikTokie, Adobe Spark. Um, those things take some getting used to but I'm happy to help you out. Um, I understand that many of us don't have experience with those tools. I like to leverage them because it's a, this is an online class um, and they're great tools for helping us to engage better with one another and to engage more deeply with New Mexico history. So again, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I can help and I'm happy to help, uh, but I don't know to help if you don't let me know that you have some questions or you have some issues. Uh, this is a late colonial map of New Mexico that greets us when we log into our class. As you scroll down, um, you'll see just kind of the uh, basic landing page and Blackboard. Uh, welcome to the class, where to get started. I did embed a Twitter feed here. Um, please don't use these Twitter feeds that I've embedded in class to actually do your work. You'll want to go to Twitter for that or to TweetDeck. Um, that will all become apparent as you look over the, those assignment guidelines. These are here, though, just so that you can see what people are saying uh, on Twitter for class and so that you can remember that's a place that you'll need to go to get some work done. Uh, please check announcements regularly. I do leave them not every day or not even necessarily every week, but pretty frequently. So, again, please check those out. Also, you can access your grades from this spot on the landing page. If you're watching this video, you've clicked start here. I'm actually going to replace this old one with the one that I'm currently making. So watch the video first, um, have the tour to the class, and then please do go through the start here module. Um, everything in there is for reference. Um, there are a lot of helpful tools if you have questions about using Blackboard. I put some uh, frequently asked questions and tutorials about uh, Tiki Taki, Twitter, and Adobe Spark in there. Um, so please do see what's there, <coughs> excuse me, and use it to your advantage. Um, the syllabus, of course, as you would expect, contains the syllabus. Um, it also contains the discussion board rules and our journal instructions. Um, the assignment guidelines for the reading tweets and the timeline are down here under course content, and all of those things are available via the syllabus itself. I won't open that now because I sent that out to you via email and you know where to access it here, but I did want to point out that as long as you have a handle on the syllabus, so you've looked that over, you understand the assignment guidelines and the course schedule that is in the syllabus, and you've paid attention to the learning modules, so you walk through those step by step and make sure that you get everything done for the given week, um, you'll be good. <laughs> That's where you'll find all of the due dates and all of the class procedures. Everything else is just here to help you get all of those things done. Um, please look at the Instructor Information tab. Um, that contains not only a little bit more information about me, um, and also my, my photo when we were in Antigua and the Guatemala study abroad recently, um, but it also, as you scroll down, contains um, my response time to you, um, some notes about grades and points. Also, it contains the late policy. So please do note that I do accept late work. 
Um, I'm willing to work with you if you let me know what's going on ahead of time um, and so on. But you have to let me know what's going on ahead of time. Also, we will be using a digital uh, online textbook for New Mexico history this term. Uh, this one is available via mytext.cnm.edu. Right now, it is open, it's free. If you want to access it though, after the class is over, you'll need to uh, go to mile.cnm.edu and pay the $49.95 uh, fee for the book. If you're okay just having it during class and you don't need to access it any longer after that, um, then just go ahead and use it during class for free and that's okay this time around. Um, they're still working on getting the payment portal in place and I'm still working on trying to get them to make it an OER. So just be free and open anyway. Um, but that's a, another discussion that I'm having in another place. Um, you can look at all of these different um, tabs here to see what's there. Um, this course schedule, going back up here, um, is in the syllabus, but it's also here in Blackboard just in case you want to reference it that way. If you like to use the Blackboard calendar, it's here. It's not something I use, but I know that many, uh, many students have enjoyed that. So that's why I include it. Um, let's see, so all of these will tell you more information about those particular assignments. And all of these tabs will contain links where you can submit your work for those assignments, um, with the exception of reading tweets. You'll do that work on Twitter, as will be explained in those instructions. You can also get to all of those things via the learning modules. So something you should note is that like many technological things, there are many different ways to get a task done. Um, if you follow the learning modules, as I mentioned, you click on the week that we're currently working on, you will be able to understand and see all of the work to be completed. I'm going to click on June 2, or excuse me, Unit 2, not June 2, um, Unit 2 because um, units two through seven are typical. They follow the same pattern, the same setup. Unit one's a little bit different, and then the last uh, few days of class will be completing the uh, discussion assignments if you've not yet done those and your final project. But most often, this is what you'll see. You'll see an introduction to the unit, and as you scroll down, you'll see the checklist. Um, I didn't write it in checklist format, but that is the checklist of the work that you'll need to do. There are always some due dates on Wednesdays and due dates on Fridays. So you'll have something due every Wednesday and every Friday for class. The reading tweets and the first step of the timeline assignment are Wednesday. The last step of the timeline assignment and your journal entry are on Friday. And then you'll need to pay attention to the discussion board posts and the assignments for the final project because those um, are not regular. Those aren't Wednesday, Friday kinds of things, but those are assignments that you'll just need to complete over the course of the semester. Um, each unit has a video intro as well. And you'll notice I need to update these for sure, and you'll understand why I started shaving my head, I think. Um, hopefully I'll get those replaced as we go along the semester, we'll see. The next thing in each learning module is a list of the readings you'll need to complete. Um, please note, I mean, there are a lot of readings for this class. We have to cover a lot of ground in a short time. Um, but please be aware that it's college. You're not expected to read everything word for word, but you do need to skim and have a general idea of all of the information that's there so that you can complete your work. If you have questions about that or would like some ideas about strategies, don't hesitate to ask me. Um, but otherwise, you know, go right ahead and um, skim, understand what all of the readings are talking about, um, and delve into as much detail as you can as you go along. These questions here are, are there to help you focus your readings. You don't need to do any uh, work on those. You don't have to write anything for those that you submit. But again, those are just to help you focus as you go along so that you can skim. Each unit also contains film clips. Um, I understand that you will not be able to view all of these. Um, these are just here as a supplement to help you better understand the readings. So please uh, watch what you can, and don't worry if you can't get to all of them. You might bookmark some for later if uh, you realize I can't get to those during this class, but that's something I'm interested in, so I would like to uh, keep that for me later on. 
This one has an, an FYI section on the idle no more movements. We're talking about oral histories and indigenous movements. For some reason that Twitter widget didn't load. I'll have to look into that. Um, that's just a unique thing to unit two. Um, this Twitter widget did load. Um, this just reminds you to complete your reading tweets. Um, it has a link to the assignment instructions that you can also find over here. And it tells you to, again, remember to go to Twitter to get this work done. Don't use the widget um, because it will be hard to do. Again, that's just so that you can see what the most recent tweets are and that you have that reminder. The next thing is the timeline submissions. Um, you will submit both to Blackboard and to TikiTaki. That should become apparent as you read the instructions and watch the tutorial for the timeline assignment. Um, but you can just use this link, uh, click to launch, to go and submit your work. So this takes you to the ID step and connection step, both of them. Uh, you click on it and it gives you the, sub whoops, the submission link. So uh, you can just browse your computer and upload your document for that. If you're out of the learning module though, and you decide you want to just go straight to the timeline uh, submission links, that's what, when you would use these uh, tabs in the course menu. So as I alluded to, here's the timeline tutorial. Please do watch that. Um, this will take you to our course timeline. This is a link to the timeline instructions, which again are also found in the syllabus. You can go through all of the information here to help you with these assignments. But again, if you're working on the Unit 2 timeline, you want to submit it without going through the learning module, this is where you go. This should look familiar. Going back to the learning module, so again, hopefully this emphasizes the learning module is the core for all the work that we're doing, um, but you can access the stuff that you need through the course menu as well. Um, you'll notice we would already gone through everything up through the timeline submissions, so I'm going to click on the journal. And same thing, this is just a link that takes you to here where you can submit your journal assignment. Um, there's also an explanation of that assignment um, as you click into it. And remember, you can find that in the syllabus and in the syllabus tab as well. All right, each learning module ends with a self-assessment and looking ahead. Uh, so what that is, is it just reminds you these are the things you should have completed, so make sure you check those boxes. Um, and then looking ahead, keep in mind the discussion board and the steps of the final project. Each learning module essentially follows the same patterns. You'll notice that for the first one, things are a little different. Everything is due this Friday. We have some introductions and some preliminary work on Twitter. Um, so you'll notice that you just have to do two tweets this week, not 15 as usual. Um, if you have any questions about that, as with everything else, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, looking at what else is here, course communication, you can get to the announcements from this menu as well, email, online office hours if you want to uh, use those. Uh, not many people do, but if you want to use those, uh, click there and that will open up the uh, virtual classroom where we can talk uh, during my office hours. Blackboard IM is available. I'm not on there very frequently because I found that no one uses it anymore. Um, so again, I'm more accessible via text message or Twitter. Um, and then here's where you can see your grades and find help resources. So hopefully that gives you a good overview of our course. Um, I know that I've said a few things many times in this video, but they're the things that I really want to emphasize. So please ask questions whenever you have them especially about the various digital platforms that we'll be using for class. And let me apologize, I had to record this at Starbucks this morning. I had to go outside where it was a little less noisy, uh, but I think there was still some background noise. So I do apologize for that. I look forward to a great summer term, and I look forward to getting to know each other.